good Thursday morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, May 25th. Oh my gosh, you guys. Today is actually um, eight years since I started working at SPC. Isn't that crazy to think about? That's wild. I'll talk about that a little bit later because right now I have I have something I need to do because I'm starving. And anyways, so I woke up this morning, had a good workout. I just got out of the shower. I didn't wash my hair, but I put a ton of dry shampoo in in hopes that like it helps it because I do need to film two sit down videos today and I don't want to look gross. But I'm in Avery's bathroom because Brian and Regan are resting right now and I need to do some sort of like skincare help. So if you watched my last vlog, I tried the Drunk Elephant under eye cream, which it was like nice, but it was a little too runny for me. I was so used to like a thicker eye cream. So I went to Target last weekend and I picked up the e.l.f. like hydrating under eye eye cream or whatever. It's like the only thing I've changed in my skincare routine. And I like that as well, but my skin does not like it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. I'm very, very red. I worked out, got out of the shower, and I haven't done any skincare. But I have little, like, red marks and dots and bumps right under my eyes because of it. I definitely think it irritated my skin. So, unfortunately, I ha I'm just going to go back to the Ole Henriksen one because I like that one so much more. But today is going to be kind of like I'm giving my skin a break, but I'm also going to do a face mask and stuff because, like, I haven't washed my face yet today. I have a couple, like, face masks I want to use. I have, like, hairs everywhere, I feel like. I'm trying to decide do I want to do eye patches first or the face mask first. I think I'm going to do the eye patches first because I want to go eat. I'm starving. But I am going to try this face mask later. This is the Pure Lease Blue Lotus and Seaweed. This is a treatment sheet mask. And the reason I chose this one is because it says it's intensely moisturizing, soothing, and balancing, which I feel like I low-key kind of need but right now i'm gonna do these pixie detoxify depuffing eye patches in hopes that these eye patches kind of just really moisturize underneath and help my skin my camera's dying so i need to go get a new battery but i'm gonna put these on get a new battery or we'll do it together but i'm gonna get a new battery and I'll, we'll do these together okay we are back so glasses here so i've never used these and i'm super super excited um because i hope that they like help my eyes because they hurt so bad. Like, it hurts. Like, it physically hurts. So, I'm not going to do eye cream or anything until I can get to Sephora to get the eye cream I like. These are kind of messy. But, yeah. So, take that out. And then, basically, this is kind of messy. Hold on. Let me just use this towel to kind of wipe my hands and kind of clean this container. Oh, I cannot wait to eat breakfast. I'm so freaking hungry. Okay, so what you do is you take this little spoolie thingy and you pick, it looks like you just pick one up. Oh god, these are like extra, extra, extra goopy, so I'm just going to use my fingers. Oh, I got two. Okay, good. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. <gasps> They're so gooey. Okay, hold on. I feel like you put this one a little too low. But that's okay. How long do you leave them on for? I wonder. This one I gotta make sure it gets on that. Yeah. That like part of my eye. Because it hurts so bad. Oh, these are kind of cooling. Maybe that's what I need. I'm gonna literally leave these on. Until I'm like. Ooh. It's like actually burning. Hold up. It's burning right here where that irritation is. I'm taking that off. <sighs> Hold up. That like actually hurts. Oh no. Yeah, it's like hella irritated. It hurts. Why does it hurt so bad? Maybe I'll do it lower and try not to touch that irritation too much. Yeah, okay. Ah, like it like hella hurts. So I've been like, oh, it still hurts. I gotta take it off. It's burning. I think I'm gonna have to not wash my face for a while. Like for a couple days and let my like and just do moisturizer and just let my skin kind of breathe. Oh, that like really hurts. And that's the only thing I changed in my skincare routine. So I know that that is the problem. Ah, oh, I hate that. I hate that so much. All right, well, we'll just do one eye patch today, I guess. 
Can you even tell? It like, it hurts so bad. Well, I tried. Maybe I won't do the face mask today and I'll just do this one eye patch and call it. Because I don't want to waste it. So sad. But anyway, I'm going to go eat now. But like I was saying about SPC, I've been here eight years, which is nuts. We've been in Austin for eight years, which is also crazy to think about. And like, I don't know. It's just, I feel like SPC's changed so much over, like, I started working. When I started working, I think my two, I had two tasks. And my two tasks were to hand cut because we weren't, like, hand cut the full sticker sheets to be, like, size. So I would hand cut those. And then I would package up, like, a little freebies. If you're, like, an OG, she used to do this, like, teeny tiny little sheet. And it would go in a cello with like, I think it was like a gold heart sticker that was like manufactured. And then like it would go in the cello and then she'd put like a little gold like paper clip on it. And I would just have to like put those together. And that was like my job for not very long actually. I'm pretty sure I, after like a couple of weeks I was on silhouettes. Maybe even a month. But like it was pretty quick. But yeah, it was, and it was funny the other day too, me and Nick were reminiscing about um, when the shop went from made to order to ready to ship because we like she closed the shop for like a couple weeks and me and nick had this like massive stack of stickers to cut to make sure we had stock for when she switched to ready to um yeah ready to ship and we were just reminiscing on that because we had like when she did the nine year release like our stacks were massive for just restocks and we were just talking about how like we can bust all those out in a day but it took us like forever to do that one big stack it was just kind of funny i guess because we hand cut too but yeah it's crazy to think i've been there eight years and it's just kind of like i don't know even after like the first year i was like i was just so confused like not confused but concerned because i was like how long is this gonna last but the planner community has just like expanded so so much it's been crazy and there's even been like a point where i was like maybe i'll leave and like move on and like focus on other things but like I just love working at SVC so freaking much and like Andre and Nick have been like so good to us and I just I love having that job and it's been so stable for us so like I don't know, it's crazy to think I've been there eight years so yeah I'm gonna go downstairs with this one eye patch on can I put my glasses on I wonder oh yeah easy uh one eye patch and eat some breakfast and um yeah I'm gonna put these away because I don't think I can do anything to my face uh for a bit because it it hurts it hurts bad. I'm feeling like so not myself today because of like my face hurts. <laughs> but we're back in our normal position. I just had a cinnamon toast crunch and it was fantastic. Reagan was like, I'm gonna go back upstairs with daddy. And I was like, okay, see ya. Um, he's staying home today. He has an appointment later, but yeah, I'm like pretty sleepy and I'm trying to decide if I want to have an energy drink or drink coffee. I don't know if we have enough coffee grounds. So I might just crack open one of those Alani News. I think I'm like getting used to the Cosmic Stardust. I had it a little bit more and I'm like, it's okay. <laughs> it's not the worst. But yeah, so I have, I think all we have left are the blue raspberry and the cherry slushes. So I'll just crack one of those open. But I need to do some dishes because I need to clear out all of that space so I can make wax today. Today is going to be a heavy make wax day. We are going to run to HEB for a couple of things later today, but... Yeah, just heavy wax today. Lots of stuff I want to get done because tomorrow is our Half-Blood Prince release, which I am excited but nervous about. I also, I have, after this release, we have our Mario and 4th of July release, and it's huge. Um, 4th of July, I typically only would do three cents. I'm doing four, so I know that, like, doesn't sound like much of an, like, a jump, but that's fine. And then Mario is one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 cents. So technically I have 19 to make. That's a lot. So I have to kind of get on it. Um, I, all the fragrance rolls are on their way, except for I think one hasn't shipped yet, actually, which is weird. But yeah, for the most part, most of them are on their way, which is good. I have a couple of ideas for things I want to do. So I'm kind of hoping we can get to Michael's this weekend because I want to look at molds just to kind of get like a vision for something. But I don't know if I'm going to do it with this Mario fourth collection or if I'm just going to hold it for a minute. But I have a new idea for something. I'm like really wanting to try it, but we'll see. I'm looking to see if that order shipped and I don't think it has, which is weird. Yeah, that's strange. I'll have to look at their website and see if they like up their processing. But yes, so I'd like to get Half Blood Prince done by Saturday if possible. So that way, all day Sunday, I can start working on Mario and Fourth. So 
I know H-E-B has some new like 4th of July like bakeware out and they have silicone molds So I'm gonna look and see if they have any like 4th of July ones I know they usually have like the Texas state ones, but like I'm not gonna do it tech I mean, I could do those for like freebies. That'd be cute like little Texas's but like not necessarily for a collection, but yeah, I just want to get this stuff done. I'm really excited. I only have one scent complete so far for the Half Blood Prince collection. So yeah, I gotta get these dishes done and get to work. I'm feeling extra like uncomfortable today because I'm wearing some clothes that are like, well, they're not like out of my element, but I'm wearing a crop top and I don't normally wear crop tops, but I'm wearing the, the um, I'll show you the shorts, the, um, you guys know those like black shorts that I really like from Target, the Wild Fable, like ribbed high-waisted shorts i got them in this like orange color which i really really like because i think it's going to be nice for summer but i got a couple of their like five dollar crop tops and i have this white one i have a black one and i have a black v-neck which i don't know why i picked up a v-neck i hate v-necks but for some reason i did so i'm feeling like extra uncomfy today my face hurts i'm just feeling like all around like and then I have to put on makeup later and I'm just like nervous about this situation I'm probably gonna put makeup on and film those two videos and then immediately like take it off and like not scrub my face But like just heavy moisturize. I don't know my face hurts So I'm just like not feeling myself today and I don't like that because I don't like feeling not myself But yeah, I have some stuff to do have some cleaning to get done so that way I can have some extra space and yeah, tomorrow is Avery's last day of second grade. Crazy, she's about to be a third grader. Um, I bought her, well here, hold on. Oh God, they're all buried, hold on. Because I buried them because I had all these like little extras of stuff that I'm like, like tiny stuff that like hardly is for that I'm just holding on to because this is like gonna be mine probably. But anyway, so. I think it's these three. No, I got this one too. Um, here, I'll show you these three. So, I initially bought this for Avery because I think these are really good for the summer. This is the summer brain quest. This is get ready for third grade, so it's like between second and third. So you do this in the summer. It's like a workbook. They have them for every grade. So. I initially got this for her because I was like, oh, we'll work on stuff over the summer because you know how kids, they like, just like lose it. But then yesterday she comes home and her teacher had literally made her like, or made all of them, not just Avery, like a summer packet. And it's so cool because like, where's the front? Each, it's six weeks of review. And it literally says week one, day one. And then like you check off as you do the pages. So like, I'm gonna have her do both of these, which like is not a lot probably, but like she needs to remember. We need to like keep it up because like I don't want her to lose anything. And then of course I didn't want Reagan to feel left out. So I got her the big preschool, which we did this with Avery as well. The big preschool workbook, which like she's only done a couple of pages so far cause she was so excited, but like it's so cute. Oh yeah, I forgot I made a mark, but like, the first few pages are just like tracing like she just has to trace within the lines but like i think it does get a little bit more complicated like yeah she has to start working on letters and coloring the picture that matches like the w Hold on, i just saw it and it was a good example color the whale and then only color like the w's so it's a good preschool book and i figured she needs this because she doesn't start kindergarten for another year which is kind of sad for her because that girl wants to be in school. So yeah, I can't believe Avery's gonna go in third grade. I'm currently just procrastinating, so I'm talking to you, but yeah, put these back. Ooh, fall, please. And um, yeah, let's go do dishes so that way we can actually get to work. All right, here's up. Dishes are going. I have everything set to get started. I grabbed a cherry slush one because this is like my personal favorite. So good. So have a lot of space, which is awesome. So I'm about to do one round of Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, one round of Felix's, I think it's Felix's Felicis. I watched the movie, but it's been a while. And one round of Love Potion, one round of Vanishing Cabinet, one round of The Cave, and then I think I'm going to do all of Half-Blood Prince. We're doing good. So, let's just get started.
So this one says, follow the hopping rabbit, trace the path. Make sure to take your time, okay? Okay. Whoa, look at you. That's so strong. All right, you wanna do the next one? Yeah. Oh, you got it? Okay. I got it. It's oh, called... You skipped a page, you skipped a page. Hold on, you skipped a page, baby, right here. Look. Okay. Here we go. Follow the bird from the nest to the flowers, trace the path. So this one you gotta take your time because there's a lot of squiggles. Nope, you start at the nest. Okay. Well, take your time, sweetie. I'm so good. You are so good. Oh, I'm going to be too fast. Yeah. Go slowly, careful. Slowly, careful. Good job. Whoa, there's lots of little squiggles and turns. Squiggle turns. Good job, babe. There's a lot of background noise, so if you hear that, I'm sorry. Reagan is watching Into the Spider Verse right now. I think she's gonna. So that's pretty great. But we are making our next round of wax and it's probably gonna be our last round of wax for the day because I only have to do two more rounds to finish this whole collection, which is really exciting. Um, so this current round is finishing Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, Quibbler, Felix Felices, um, The Chosen One, Love Potion, and that's it. So I only have four more. I have too many chunks, two snap bars left and those will get done all to like mini chunk snap, mini chunk snap, so two different rounds, which is perfect. So, it's my last round for the day. Feeling good, feeling positive. Um, and I still have to film two videos, like, but a little stressful, like, but I just really have to get that new releases up, so I do have to put makeup on. My face is feeling a lot better, but it is still very, like, patchy and, like, painful a little. I should probably stop poking it, but that's currently what's happening. I feel like my hair is just pulled up, greasy, gross, but, I'll dry shampoo it a little bit more later. So we are putting on some makeup. I changed shirts because um, the white I feel kind of washes me out a little bit. So I didn't want to film two videos and be like pretty washed out. So I'm wearing this like blue 50th. I think I got this from the Pixie Place on Etsy. It's the Disney 50th. The back has all the perks on it. It's pretty cute. But the color is so pretty. It's like a periwinkle-ish blue. So it looks kind of cute with the orange um, shorts. But yes, so I'm putting on makeup so I can film these two videos. I only read four books in April for some reason, or May, in May. But for some reason I thought I read more. Oops. But I have to film that and I also have to film new releases, which I need to go downstairs and get those. I didn't get those yet, but we'll do that in a second. Kind of grateful Brian is home today though because I can film both of those and not have to like stress about the children. The children. Um, but yeah, so just getting ready now. Um, my skin, I can actually feel it starting to like heal a bit. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just not gonna use any sort of eye cream or any sort of serums for the next couple of days. Like I'm gonna give myself a couple of days. I don't even know if I'm really necessarily going to cleanse if I'm being honest. I might just do like a water wash and then just heavy like moisturize because I just really don't want to like use any serums like retinol or vitamin C or anything like that because I don't want to irritate it. And then my cleanser is my nighttime cleanser is like an exfoliator type cleanser. So that would just irritate it. And then my daytime one is the panoxyl, which is like acne, whatever. And it has like ingredients in it that I have a feeling would irritate it. So we're just going to leave it alone for a couple of days and hopefully I can make it out to Sephora this weekend, if not soon-ish. And so I can get, um, the cream that I uh, want. So sorry, I was waiting for my face to dry and it has, so now I can apply powder. But yeah, so I'm just getting ready so I can film those two sit down videos. I have wax cooling downstairs right now. And I think I already told you, I only have two rounds left and they're just like the mini chunks and the snap bars. I was also working on sizes that I potentially wanna do for the Mario collection. I'm very up in the air though, cause like I said, I have a vision for something, but like if it doesn't pan out, it's totally fine. Like I'm not stressing about it, but, um, oh, Andrea gave me her freaking Kat Von D shade and light palette, which I've been using. I left it on the floor cause I'm a mess. Like all the skincare is still all over the floor. I need to organize it and put it somewhere, but, um, I'm going to use this, but yeah, so I'm going to work on those and hopefully then we can make it to like Michaels or like I said, H -E did I tell you all HEB has like silicone molds? Cause they do. Uh, yes, I think I did. Um, I'm pretty sure right now I saw someone post that they have like firework ones that are huge and like almost the size of our snowflake one that we had. So I might do that for like 4th of July, but like, we'll see. We'll see. I have visions. I have 
things I want to try, but I do want to make it out to Michael's like this weekend for sure. So, and I guess Michael's is kind of close-ish to Sephora. So maybe we'll make it over there too. We'll see. But yes, so I'm going to film. And I think after I film, I have to pop out all those molds, which is fine. I should just keep this in here. There's literally no need for me to put it back on the floor, um, which is fine. And then I think me and Brian are going to watch some shows. What show we watch? I don't know. This weekend is the season finale series finale of succession and i have i have two theories i don't want to tell you my theories because like i don't want to tell you my theories because i want y'all to watch the show and if you haven't watched it i don't want to tell you my theories because that would potentially ruin the whole show for you so i'm not going to tell you anything but yeah i have two theories i'm super excited for succession um it's such a good show it's on each no it's on max um so if you guys have hbo max um yeah you should watch it it's literally one of the best shows on the planet so you should watch it but i think i'm gonna use this i'm gonna finish my makeup now and um wait for brian and film that's basically all i'm gonna do i have to go downstairs anyway and get the wax <laughs> i've lost all train of thought i'll see y'all in a little Alrighty, so i just got done filming both videos which i'm happy about i felt so bad because like i only read four books in may <laughs> But like also, I just, like it's May 25th and I just started a book and I don't think I'm gonna finish it before the end of the month. So I fill up my water bottle, I'm really thirsty. But my videos exporting right now are rendering. It's got like 10 minutes left. So I think I'm just not gonna wait up here cause I, I can upload it in a minute or like later. And I'll just go downstairs and chill cause I have all those molds to pop out. I just realized. I'm procrastinating doing that, but I should probably just go do that right now. So let's go downstairs. I didn't procrastinate. I went downstairs. It took me like 45 minutes to pop all of those out. But um, Avery's asleep and it's six o'clock. So I decided ultimately to let her sleep <laughs> instead of waking her because tomorrow's her last day and she's clearly tired she had a busy she's had a busy week every day has been like a themed day today was like a kickball tournament i'm sure she's beat so i'm just letting her sleep and she'll be well rested for school tomorrow so yeah but um i have to upload now and then i'm gonna go downstairs and i think we're playing watch shows and chill the rest of the evening i'll probably read i started reading a quarter silver flames over the week I just feel like I want to start another fantasy series and I was like, I need to finish this current one. I don't want to be in the middle of one, you know what I mean? So I'm going to finish this one, but yeah, I'm like 6% in, <laughs> I'm so not close. But yeah, I'm going to upload now and um, stop yammering on and um, I probably will see you tomorrow. I doubt I'll vlog at all the rest of the evening. Hello, happy Friday. Hair is currently air drying had a workout this morning took a really long shower because i was just tired had breakfast and i am ready to work i made my coffee we got our yeti um straw lids in this week so i'm excited to have this i have like hardly any coffee grounds but i was like i don't know i just didn't want to do an energy drink today and i was like i just really want coffee so good so i'm so happy to have that straw now so I only have two rounds that are like of the utmost importance to do today and then whatever else I can get done is going to be fun little extras. But that makes me really excited because all that's left is two snap bars and two mini chunk bags. So I'll just do them snap bar mini chunk, snap bar mini chunk. So I'm going to start my day off with slug club and horcrux and then in between like while they're cooling I have like listings to do, the Facebook post, Instagram post. All that good stuff um today's avery's last day of school she has a half day today she's so excited she woke up well obviously she woke up early because she went to bed early but she woke up so early and when i went in there to like say good morning she was like it's time it was really cute so today's her last day <sighs> she gets out like i said early oh i have laundry to do today maybe we'll do stuff i don't know today's just gonna be i think today's gonna be like kind of busy kind of busy i have a vlog i need to edit I would love to film a plan with me. <laughs> that was mostly just all creamer. But yeah, it's gonna be a good day. So I'm gonna get started with the first round just so that's done. And then we'll continue. I also realized this morning that I need to make Brian's fave. Just just haven't, haven't made it yet and I need to because it's gonna go live next Thursday. 
yeah so i need to have that i need to have that done so i'll work on that this weekend as well freebies to make this weekend and then we'll get started on the fourth slash mario and then i might so we're having a pre-order after the fourth slash mario again and i have an idea for a collection to do after that yeah i'm doing it okay for a second i was like maybe i won't do it but like i actually really like the idea and i think it'll be fun so maybe i'll start working on like scent ideas for that maybe i don't know we'll see but anyway i gotta get to work let's get started all right we're up here look at this hair what is even it's happening i'm so happy i've gotten like so much done already i just well i finished pouring obviously um very simple because my nose is running because it was only the snap bars and the chunk bags i started laundry i got the listings the facebook post and the instagram posts done and i have a little bit of time before i can pop out the mold so i was like let's film the base of a plan with me <laughs> do y'all see this like what is even this hair so we're gonna film the base of the plan with me right now which i'm excited for i have um those are cute I have the cherry blossom kit. This is the one I'm filming. I have like a bunch of stuff. So I'm just trying to kind of like. Oh, it's so freaking pretty. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna be filming. The base for oh, I just love looking through my spreads. They're so freaking cute. Um, and let's see if we need any extenders. Do I need to bring oh no, I don't need to bring home any more full box extenders. For some reason I didn't know if I had enough, but I think I have two extra sheets right there. Let's see if we need an extender. I don't think I do. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, cool, that's exciting. So I'm gonna get it all set up. My face is feeling a little bit better. I've only been doing moisturizer um because I just don't want to irritate it too much but it's definitely like feeling a lot better i was really nervous after putting um makeup on yesterday that it was gonna not be a good time but thankfully it is this is actually i think the first time i'm using art from this artist the like clip art kits girl Here. really cute i'm excited to use this her people are really cute so really excited my camera's dying so that's perfect timing because i can change it but i'm gonna take my thumbnail picture really quick i use my phone now it's just so much easier so let's go ahead and film this space shall we finished with all the wax i needed to make today and i'm super stoked about that release is in two hours and i'm a little nervous because we are about to leave and i'm like I usually hate doing releases from like my phone but actually let me check if i can do that real quick because like the new etsy seller app wasn't doing vacation mode for a minute so let me just double check that i can take the shop off yeah i think i can okay cool a little nervous so we're going out for lunch because we always do that on the last day of school we always take avery somewhere and we're going by half price books and i was like you know what i want to do I talked about this a little bit, but I really want to go into the like the kids chapter books and like the YA section and just kind of there's some books that I like have been wanting to just have, just to have. But I'm gonna bring my tote, my Vans tote that I bought forever ago, um, because I'm gonna sell some of my books or at least try to sell some of my books because there are some that I just like don't really necessarily want in my collection. We'll start with my shelves and then I'm gonna probably look through my um closet really quick i'm trying to decide if i want amityville horror or not i honestly don't think i do so we'll probably do amityville horror ugly love by colleen hoover i really don't think i necessarily want to keep the rewind by allison winscotch it's kind of nice i'm like opening up a lot of space here and then that section is fine is there anything here maybe no i like all my like horror thriller stuff let's go down to book of the month so book of the month there is a few i do think i'm gonna get rid of the wilder women by ruth emmy lang i think i'm gonna get rid of kisser once for me um this can move and then two more the london seance society and camp zero are gonna be the two other ones i'm gonna get rid of that clears a lot of book of the month space which is quite nice this one so Oh, don't fall. Okay, so here's going to be the books from my shelf that I'm going to try and sell. 
so let's open up i don't know i've never sold to half price books hopefully it's like a chill experience because like i'm just trying to like i'm expecting it to be kind of like a plato's closet situation where they give me like maybe 20 dollars for all of these books which is honestly kind of fine because i don't really want them in my collection anyway so then i'm gonna go to my closet real quick i'm you here right now because i have no other spots to put you but just we're gonna look through here um Let's see. Mm. Mm. Maybe this Hocus Pocus one. No cares for that one. Ooh, Damned and Doomed. Good riddance, honestly. What's this? What is this? Oh. Uh. Uh. I actually think all of these true crime books I'm gonna try and get rid of. So, I have all these true crime ones too. The Axeman, The Night Stalker, I'll Be Gone in the Dark, Who Killed These Girls, which is about an Austin one, and Anne Rules, A Stranger Beside Me. So, actually a lot more than I thought. So hopefully, we can sell those. I'll let you know how my experience goes. Okay, ignore the mess behind me. That was me attempting to go through skincare at some point to find the eye cream i lost all sense of what i was gonna say oh, guys i'm frazzled so lots of info we went to half price books we went to target we went to michael's we got ramen it was a great time it was a great experience i vlogged like the tiniest tiniest clip because y'all stressed i we had releases while we were in half price books i had no service none like none inside half price books and i couldn't leave because you can't drop your books off and leave them like you have to wait like she was like please don't leave and i was like i won't <sighs> so brian had to go outside and do it and i was stressing out full panic mode but we had our release so far so good everything is still in stock and it's been about an hour and a half almost two hours now so that's really good um especially because some of the items were kind of lower stock so i'm pretty happy with everybody being able to get what they want and i like that um two annoying things first and foremost i came home you had fallen how don't know maybe a door slammed and you were on the edge i don't know you were on like up here on the top of my alex nine drawers and you had fallen off so my little like my camera and it has the thing that flips up so like the viewfinder so i can see yeah it's all wonky i don't like that at least the camera itself is fine like everything's great but the viewfinder is quite wonky so Second thing, y'all saw how many books I brought to Half Price Books? You know how much money they gave me? $17. $17. I at least expected 20 to 25 But 17 dang, that hurt. But I get it, I get it. I just think maybe from now on I might buy books off of, or buy, buy, buy books. Sell books, well I also did buy some, off of Pango because oh, that was kind of rough. But here's the reason I went into Half Price Books, okay? I went in there because the other day I was on Facebook and one of my Facebook friends had posted a nostalgia post of the Bailey School Kids books and just like with Double Fudge, which Half Price Books didn't have and I was so sad because last time we went they had three and I was going to pick it up. So sad, but it's okay. Um, it hit the nostalgia button and I was like, I forgot all about those books and I loved them and I do want to start a little collection of like kids books that i really love just for myself for my kids grandkids whomever because i just love having them so i went to half price books to find those and to find some other things and yeah i basically just walked out with a bunch of kids books so that's fine avery picked out this book because it's the only one i think she doesn't have from the pigeon series by mo willems this is the pigeon wants a puppy this was 3.99 we love the pigeon books these are really good for early readers and they're just funny i think as parents to read them to your kids i think the pigeon is like a hoot he pretty funny brian picked this one out to read to avery because it was in really good condition and it's a hardback and it's the first one it's the lemony snick it's a series of unfortunate events this was 6.99 this is the bad beginning like i said it's number one it was the only hardback that they had and it's in like really good condition like i swear i don't think anyone read this book i think it just sat on their shelf really good so he got this one to read to avery 
And so like I was saying about Pingo books, I went on there because I wanted some of the Bailey Street Bailey School Kid books because they're not on Amazon. Like you can't get the classic ones. They changed all of the covers. The covers are whack now and I like the originals. So I went on Pango and I the only listing for like a one that I found was a bundle of the first three for three dollars. Like literally three dollars for all three. I ordered that. The seller has already shipped it. It should be here next week. Super excited. So I have those coming. So I wanted to go to Half Price Books to find more because I just wanted to have more and I found more I'm so excited so um I think this is number four I have four seven thirteen nineteen and eight. Oh, cool so let's put this one here so number four these were all like yeah pretty cheap this was two I think this was the most expensive one 249 um leprechauns don't play basketball do y'all remember these oh, I just love them the first one is like vampires don't wear polka dots werewolves don't uh, work at summer camp and I don't remember what the third one is but I have those three coming so this is number four then I have number seven which is aliens don't wear braces oh, I just freaking love these books and they're so good they're like easy easy chapter books like I think within the next year Avery's gonna be reading these uh, number eight is genies don't ride bicycles number 13 gremlins don't chew bubble gum and then number 19 gargoyles don't drive school buses the one i really want the one that like hit me in like the feels was the cupid doesn't work in the cafeteria or something but she like it's one of my favorite ones so i think the third one actually is santa claus maybe but i was so excited to find these oh and they were so cheap like 249 199 149 199 199 excited and then i saw Oh, this is where it got me guys i almost grabbed two and i was like i'll stop on top of the shelves they have the like box sets and i never look up there and they had like a bunch of goosebumps ones and i was like Whew. all of the goosebumps ones were like more new school though and i would love an old school one an old school one but this is actually something i've been wanting to get anyway the hunger games box set all three let me open this because i haven't even opened it it was 26.99 for all three i need to buy the newest one but they i looked for it there they didn't have any copies of it um but i saw this box set and i was like 26 bucks for all three and their hardbacks like i'm really excited so let's open this one up i'm so excited this was in the ya section oh it feels so good Oh, they look so nice. Was that on there? Oh, it's on here, but I'll take that off. It feels so good. Hold on, let's take out the first one. Ooh, I don't think these were even opened. Oh, am I rereading The Hunger Games this year? Probably. Oh, I'm so happy to have this. So I just need to get the third one now, but to have the like box set, I'm displaying this. This is so cute. So that's why I got half price books. Michael's was kind of a bust. They didn't have any molds that I liked at all. Um. I'm gonna peel all these while I talk. They didn't have any molds that I liked, like literally at all. They were terrible, but we've been wanting to make um, cake pops recently. So I got the cake pop sticks and I let the girls each pick out like a color of that like melting chocolate or whatever. So <laughs> uh, Avery picked pink, Regan picked lime green, which I think is gonna be really cute. Very uh, like 2000s kid feels. Got those from, what else did we get at Michael's? Oh, the girls are currently downstairs doing crafts. Avery got a rock painting kit and Regan got a stepping stone painting kit, which I'm kind of excited about because we can put them all outside. I don't think we got anything else from Michael's, but yeah. So release happened. So far, so good. I'm really stoked about it. Those all peeled off literally beautifully. Target, take notes because that was amazing. Gotta give this one to Avery and then I gotta figure out where I want to display these because I'm just so happy to have them. Like I really truly am. Like they just make me so happy. And when I saw them all lined up like in the kids section, I got so happy. Y'all, I also like, do I want to buy the Babysitter's Club books? Kind of. <coughs> but there's a lot of them. I mean, to be fair, there's a lot of those too, but anyway it's been eight minutes but i just really want to share that with you guys so i'm gonna go throw all this stuff away now and give this to avery and um cry because i'm happy look at reagan's that's so beautiful yeah. what's your favorite color my favorite color is pink mm -hmm. avery's working on her rocks she said this is a flower kind of looks like a bloop on it baby you're working on that one now our messy table but that's okay 
<laughs> so it is almost 8 30 kiddos are both upstairs and we want to watch a movie and brian suggested a scary movie why he likes to cuddle you said you wanted to watch it yeah so i've been wanting to watch evil dead rise so we're gonna rent it and we're gonna watch it but she's scared yeah i mean yeah <laughs> well, yeah, I'm a little, I'm just a little nervous. I also really want to watch, The Boogeyman's not available yet, but I really want to watch that. But I have this, like, feeling I am going to be scared after watching it and, like, not be able to sleep and then, like, wake up at 3 a.m. and not be able to look away from our open door, just staring at it, waiting. So Brian's making us, um... Shrimp burgers, which is a nostalgic thing for me. I used to work at, I think, what it's called Highway 55 now? Yeah. It used to be called Andy's. When I worked there, it was called Andy's. And they made these, like, things called shrimp burgers. And I've had them various other places. It's just fried shrimp, it's just yeah. fried shrimp on a hamburger bun. And it's, well, you can put coleslaw on stuff, but we don't have coleslaw. It's pretty bomb, though. So we're going to eat that and watch this movie. And it's only an hour and a half. That's actually not bad, babe. Look, an hour to 36 yeah, minutes. Scary movies are usually... Yeah, if a scary movie is longer than two hours, it's not going to be that scary. Or it's a mess. But it looks like it has an 84% on Rotten Tomatoes, so that's pretty good for a scary movie. And I'm nervous, but we're gonna do this and I'm gonna try and get some sleep tonight. We might have to watch like an episode of like Clarence to really just bring me back, you know? Bear Bears is my usual bring back. Or Bob's Burgers, we haven't watched any Bob's Burgers in a while. Nervous. Hi guys, happy Saturday. It's 11 and I'm sad. Um, woke up early, I'm having tummy problems today. I don't wanna talk about it too much because it's kinda gross, but like, stomach's really not feeling great. Um, slept kind of crappy because the movie. I'm here. Okay, hold on, pause. Anyways, so today was the final game for the Bundesliga and Dortmund um, needed to, okay, so it's confusing because we had to technically kind of watch two games because Bayern had to lose or tie for us to win and Dortmund had to win we lost and I'm really sad and it was really sad to watch I think this is like we've come in second like so many times to Bayern they've been the reigning champions for like 11 years which is crazy so I'm a little sad but yeah so I'm gonna get to work for a little bit today I need to restock Dreaming of You. That's the first one that I need to make as a corset into a snap bar. So I'm gonna restock that and get the pictures and try and get that listing up today because I would love for that to go back into stock. It's been out of stock for about a few days now. So I'd like to get that back up. Um, I need to do three freebies, which I already have all of them pulled. Let me go get those, I'll show you them. Every time I jump up really fast, my stomach is not happy. So we're doing banana crepes is what I pulled. Fresh peach, which is perfect because the next collection has peach in it. The next collection also has banana in it, but not banana crepes. And caramel cheesecake, which these are all like generally the same color. So I'm assuming banana crepes, I'll do yellow. Caramel cheesecake, I'll do like a brown. And then peach, I'll do a peach. So they're all like within the same color family. So I'm making those. And then I need to do the initial round of Brian's fave because that's going to go live this upcoming week and it is mahogany teak wood he was gonna originally do cool water because we love cool water type but we just released that so i was like you know what let's do mahogany teak wood we haven't done that in a really long time and he was like yes that smells amazing i would love to do that so i have that to make as well plus i have all of the fragrance oils except for four for the next collection we're gonna run to hub today i'm gonna see if they have those molds that i was like looking at that i liked but if they don't it doesn't matter because we are getting started on mario and fourth today slash tomorrow so lots to do but oh man, i'm just so sad and austin plays tonight we play houston which is a rivalry game and it's the first game or the second game in the copa tejas cup situation that we're doing so man i'm just like not feeling happy i'm just not so we'll see but um yeah stomach hurts lots of stuff to do and I have orders I need to do. I think I have 14 that were open prior to the releases that I need to do, which I might do today, but I might also do this tomorrow. So we shall see. So I'm gonna go now, but just know I'm sad, okay? Just know I'm a sad, sad girly. I think I'm getting progressively worse. <laughs> I'm not feeling good. So I did the three freebies and I did the Dreaming of You. Brian's mowing the grass right now, but like my stomach and like the things that are happening in the bathroom are not okay. And I know it's TMI, but like, I'm just not feeling great. I'm feeling so not good. Um, it's funny because I'm pretty sure Reagan had this initially and then Brian just had this and now I have it. So like, I should be good by like hopefully tomorrow or like 
in a couple days. But man, I'm not like, my stomach is like cramping up. I'm getting like lots of pain. And then of course I have to go like, you know, do stuff. And it's just like, like relieve myself. And that's painful and everything just hurts. And I'm in a lot of pain. So I have a Gatorade that I'm chugging. So I'm not dehydrated. I had breakfast, so like I'm feeling like I have, well, it might be gone now, but like I felt like I had something in my stomach, but mm-mm, mm-mm. I don't love any of what's happening to me right now. It's not ideal, but you know what? It's okay. He still wants to go to HEB, so I'm gonna try and see if I can make it through like a 30 minute HEB trip. I should be okay too. I do really badly want to look at those molds. I might just go like lay in bed for a minute, honestly, because I just do not feel great. So this weekend is slowly taking a turn, <laughs> a turn that I did not want it to take. Yeah, I'm gonna go lay in bed and just kind of play on my phone for a little, because man, I'm feeling like straight crap. And I need to maybe think of something to purchase at HEB that would maybe help like stomach wise. I'm not like, I took Pepto this morning. I don't think it's gonna help me. So I need to find like, not medicine, but like food that I can ingest, like maybe crackers. I'll probably buy some more Ritz crackers because I love those anyway. And maybe like some soup or something to really help settle my stomach. Cause man, it is like not feeling great. Like it is not happening for me currently. So I'm gonna go lay in bed because I'm not feeling good. Just got back from H-E-B. The kids just put on clearance. So sorry if that's kind of loud. I got a little, I made a little soup, a little soup. And they had these slices of cornbread. I've been like trying to open it, but it's a pretty cool slice of cornbread. And hopefully this helps because uh -huh, not feeling too good. I've also been drinking Gatorade. I think I already talked about that, but just a little tiny thing of chicken noodle soup to help my tum tum because it hurts. I also just had a bite of pasta salad and it was so good, but yeah, I just freaking love H-E-B. It was packed though. I did find what I was looking for. I'll show you. Them. I got two of them. The firework molds. These are pretty big. I'm actually really excited. I'm gonna get started on the fourth sense probably today. Probably. Hi guys, it's Monday. Sorry for the sound. Brian just started making big ZD, which I'm so excited for. But it is Monday and I'm ending the vlog here because I didn't vlog at all yesterday and hardly at all Saturday because I was feeling extra shitty both literally and figuratively. <laughs> Um, was getting a lot of sleep, was just trying to feel better, and this morning I woke up and I decided not to go to work because I was still feeling pretty weak, but so far, cross your fingers, I've been feeling pretty good, I've been able to get some things done, I'm currently doing some computer work for Fantasy Wax, just making the June calendar and gonna prep that Facebook listing, or Facebook listing, Facebook post to go up, but I've got a lot of stuff done today, we went outside today, the girls did some of their, like, book work stuff a couple pages just you know keep the retention and yeah today's been a pretty good first day of summer today's also memorial day and yeah that's basically it so i'm just here to say i'm sorry that this vlog is probably not the best um i definitely was just not feeling good at all this weekend but i'm looking forward to this next weekend it will only be friday saturday sunday because i did take today off but We'll try and do some fun stuff because me and Brian are going to be working together tomorrow. So we'll be off together Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, it's pretty normal, but it should still be fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Nonetheless, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.